back when here. I'm going to show you why the Lee factory crimp rifle die is the best in the business. This is an old herder's die, and this has what they call a roll crimp in it. So this is a cedar roll crimp die, and you can see it says 3030 cedar crimp. And it's what they call a roll crimp. And how it works is, this might be a little hard to see, but, it there you go, it rolls the case over into the cantalure. It doesn't have to have a cantalure to do a roll crimp, but it just rolls the case over. Now this can be pretty tough to do. There's a lot of factors involved. All of your brass has to be perfect. It's very hard to get a consistent crimp unless everything is perfect. The amount of pressure you put on your press handle, everything goes in to a roll crimp. And it's very tough to get right unless you're a master reloader with a lot of experience. It's a pretty tough thing to get a consistent roll crimp. Uh, the way it works is after your bullet seats, you just push up just a little bit and it pushes into the roll crimp portion and it rolls the case over. However, there's a much better way and it's the Lee factory crimp die. It's got four pedals in there and when you press right here with your press, it presses the pedals in, causing it to put a perfect factory crimp just like this. And the length of your brass isn't as critical. And that's why I would always recommend the factory crimp over the roll crimp anytime. In fact, I've added a Lee factory crimp to all of my rifle sets. You don't have to use the crimp in the roll crimp in the factory cedar die. You don't have to use that. You just set your cedar die up a little higher and run your bullet seeder down a little further and it keeps you off the crimp. In fact, I'll show you how to set that up next. Okay, so the way the roll crimp would work is you would back your seeder off all the way and then you'd screw your die down, put your ram all the way up, and screw your die down until you feel it touch inside there. And then what you would do is you would give it about another half a turn and then you would tighten the ring down and lock it and then you would set your bullet seating depth to what you wanted it and then that last little bit now this is an uncrimped case mm. that last little push like that would actually put a perfect taper on there now like I was saying before all of the, you can see the beautiful taper that's on there. Now, like I said before, that would solely depend on your case length to get a uniform crimp. So you'd have to trim every case every time to get the perfect uniform crimp. Or you could just go with the Lee factory crimp die and because of the four pedals inside there, your case length is not critical because it just smashes right around the edge of this. It doesn't matter the case length. It's going to put a perfect uniform crimp on there every time, no matter what. And that, when you press up right here, when the ram touches it, it presses up, you can see this moving, and that's what presses the pedals together on the inside. Now you can see what happens. Mm -hmm. As the bullet comes up, it enters the crimp. As you, the pedals pushed on the bottom, it presses the pedals together on the top, and it puts a perfect uniform crimp, no matter the length of the brass. Now it's wise to crimp them, or to trim them, but it's completely not necessary as long as they're within spec. So that's why I think Lee 
makes the best crimp dye in the business. This is as close to factory as you can get, and it's also the simplest way to crimp your brass and get a perfect uniform crimp. If you're shooting them out of a bolt action rifle, there's really no crimp required. Or if you were using like a Savage 99, which is what this would go through, this is a 300 Savage, something with a rotary magazine, not much of a crimp required. If it's semi-automatic or it's a lever gun with a tube magazine, like this 3030 would go in, then you would definitely want a crimp. And the reason being is because they're riding in the tube magazine like this and they're going like this with recoil and you'd never want to shove that bullet back into the case and create pressure problems, which could happen without a crimp. And also semi-automatic, um, things can happen when the bullet's auto-feeding in. It could get caught on the feed ramp and get shoved in. Numerous reasons why you would want a, a solid factory crimp. Now the solid, the factory crimp is much easier like I pointed out to master than the roll crimp and there's a lot less factors that's why I think the roll crimp is or I mean the factory crimp is brilliant and that's why Lee makes the best factory crimp dies in the business and those are my thoughts on factory crimp versus roll crimp thanks for watching